Take me back to a few years ago when you start to see these headlines coming out and smearing your good name. How did you feel at the time when you were seeing these headlines? John Schnatter, the founder of Papa John's, has thrown a diabolical softball. Um, state of shock. Um, unbelievable. Um, I couldn't understand it. I, I mean, again, you have a public board that paints its chairman uh, complicit, passive, or active. They paint the founder as a racist. He cannot believe how he has been painted as a racist. We've had three goals for the last 20 months to get rid of this uh, N-word uh, in my uh, vocabulary. And then just flat out admits he's trying to take the N-word out of his vocabulary. Well, at least he's trying. And dictionary and everything else uh, because it's just not true. Figure out how they did this and get on with my life. And then he goes on and rambles about some other nonsense. If Papa John's would just say, hey, we got in a hurry. This attempt at good PR on Donald Trump's favorite propaganda outlet wound up just digging Papa John, the founder of the pizza brand, a deeper hole. You see, you can't claim to not be racist. I'm John Snowden. Papa John. Schnatter was ousted after admitting to using a racial slur on a conference call last summer. He says executives use that incident to, quote, steal the company from him. So if he uses the N-word ethically, he embarrasses everyone in that company. And then do stuff like that. But it isn't just one isolated incident that showed us who this man is. When black NFL players took a knee to bring awareness to the day-to-day -day racism minorities face in this country, Papa John, well... You probably know where this is going. The NFL leadership has hurt Papa John's shareholders, the CEO said during an analyst call. He proclaimed the NFL not penalizing black players from taking a knee hurt his brand and sales, essentially blaming the minorities. DiGiorno, like many others, took the opportunity to roast Papa John on social media. However, they did find some support, like neo-Nazi website The Daily Stormer hoisting Papa John's as the official pizza of the alt-right. Well done, bro. Seeing how this could be problematic, though the Daily Stormer and Papa John's speak the same language, Schnatter was asked how he would distance himself from racist groups online. He responded by downplaying the significance of his NFL statement. Colonel Sanders called blacks N-words, he said, before complaining that Sanders never face public backlash. Dude, what is up with this guy? He is the king of doubling down on controversy. Like, I think has the riches made this guy really think he can say and do whatever? It's oblivious, but hang on. Could he triple down? Shatter also reflected on his early life in Indiana where he said people used to drag African Americans from trucks until they died. He apparently intended for the remarks to convey his antipathy to racism. But multiple individuals on the call found them to be offensive. Duh, a source familiar with the matter said. After learning about the incident, laundry service owner Casey Wasserman moved to terminate the company's contract with Papa John's. On top of this, as the company tried to ease the situation by removing him, his ego was hurt, so he decided to hire his own PR company to keep his face on television ads. Oh, this is glorious. There's a reason he is being clowned on Twitter. I mean, like, repeatedly. It's because we see through his crap. 